Ivy. Over the weekend, and really this has been going on for three or four days, I spoke with C.J. Rogers' father. Uh, he, of course, entered the transfer portal. He was a walk-on quarterback at Baylor who looked really good during the spring game. He was third on the depth chart behind, of course, uh, uh, Blake Chapin and then also Blake Chapin and then also Kyron Drones, but there were thoughts that he might have been even higher than that. But he has entered the transfer portal. One of the deals here is he's a walk-on. I think he loved Baylor. I also think that uh, he could have stayed as a student at Baylor. But I do believe that perhaps he was wondering if, in fact, if there was a competition for number two on the depth chart, would it be a fair competition? Not questioning Dave Aranda, but a fair competition because the guy in front of you is a full scholarship quarterback if you don't become one. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair thing, I guess, to wonder about. I mean, he can go, you know, I, I feel like there was getting to be a little bit too much uh, made about his game it just versus what we had seen because um, we hadn't really seen anything. And I, I, if you're a program insider and you're a part of those practices and you see that, like, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, but, like, if you're just random dude who's just a big C.J. Rogers fan because you saw two throws from Argyle game four years ago, yeah. like, I just – I'm sorry, that doesn't tell me that he's better than Blake Shapin. But people were trying to actually make arguments about, like, how much better he was than guys that were on scholarship. And so, you know, to each their own on that. Um, but, no, we'll get to see. We just won't get to see at Baylor because he's going to go play somewhere else. And a lot of people pointed at Texas Tech because of Joey McGuire and the connection there. But, you know, they've got some quarterbacks too. Like, you know, tell Donovan Smith and Tyler Shuck, and, and Tyler Shuck will be, you know, gone, like, you know, you all have graduations and whatnot. But uh, still, you know, wherever he goes, he's going to have to to earn it. So best of luck to him. Well, there just wasn't room at Baylor. Go somewhere where you're definitely going to play. He was not definitely, especially after Luke Anthony, especially this year. So what the Luke Anthony transfer meant to, to me was C.J. Rogers is not playing this year. Kyron Drones is probably not playing this year. So Blake Shapin's still got a couple years before you even think about him leaving at all. If you're C.J. Rogers, look, go someplace where you can play. And It wasn't a matter of room because with the, yeah. the transfer of Bohannon, I mean, he was a, maybe an injury away from being the next guy up. We don't know that. Uh, I do know that the staff did not want him to leave. I, I, I think that they would like to have had him on. Why, why wouldn't they? And they get the transfer from Louisiana Tech and Anthony, who may not even be able to play. So uh, what was first What was first was it was obvious C.J. Rogers was going to enter the transfer portal. Baylor had to react to that. They had been in touch with Anthony. Not even sure if he's a part of the depth chart because of his availability, because of injuries he has suffered in the past. Yeah, and uh, that is the most glorified take you'll get on a walk-on quarterback <laughs> anywhere in the country. This, I mean, I know that that probably every school has their their walk-on favorites. You know, that the backup quarterback is always the most popular quarterback. But man, for a kid who did not play at all, basically, uh, there sure was a lot of talk about him. So glad we addressed it. When we come.